Hello everybody, this is Mr. Lawback. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we are going to dive into the significance of the political cartoon called King Jackson I, which you will be able to see pictured here in a moment. In the world of political satire, cartoons have often been potent tools to express dissent, challenge authority, and provoke societal reflection. A great example of this is this famous cartoon, King Jackson I. So in this video, we are going to go over the point of view of the cartoon, the purpose of the cartoon, the symbolic imagery, what caused the creation of the cartoon, and what the intended audience of the cartoon was. Andrew Jackson was the American president between the years 1829 and 1837. He was a two-termer and was the seventh president of the United States. So what was the point of view of the cartoon? Jackson's policies were a subject of intense debate. His aggressive stance on issues like the Indian Removal Act and the Bank of the United States divided public opinion. It was within this charged atmosphere that the political cartoon emerged as a visual commentary on Jackson's consolidation of presidential power. The purpose of the cartoon. The purpose was multifaceted. It aimed to critique Jackson's autocratic tendencies and his use of executive power, portraying him as an overbearing king, reminiscent of oppressive rulers in European history. The artist sought to highlight the dangers of unchecked authority and to rally the public against this perceived tyranny. The symbolic imagery of the cartoon. Jackson wearing a crown trampling the Constitution was a deliberate attempt to sway public opinion and challenge the status quo. The cartoonist skillfully employed visual elements to convey a powerful message that transcended words, reaching a wide audience. What exactly caused the creation of this pivotal piece? The cartoon emerged as a response to Jackson's controversial actions and policies, capturing the sentiment of those who opposed his governance. Its creation was a reflection of the growing unease within segments of society about the direction the country was taking under Jackson's leadership. The political cartoon was deeply linked to Andrew Jackson's use of the veto power during his presidency. Jackson was known for his bold and frequent use of the presidential veto, setting a significant precedent of executive authority. One of the most notable instances was Jackson's veto of the rechartering of the Second Bank of the United States in 1832. He viewed the bank as an institution that, that favored the wealthy and concentrated too much power in the hands of a few, and he used his veto power to prevent its continuation. The intended audience. As for the intended audience, this illustration was not aimed solely at the educated elite or politically inclined. Its visual nature allowed it to reach a broader spectrum of society, appealing to both literate and the illiterate, serving as a catalyst for discussion about power, governance, and the role of the common citizen. Now, in conclusion, the King Jackson the First political cartoon stands as a compelling visual critique of Andrew Jackson's presidency. Through symbolic imagery and artistic representation, the cartoon portrayed Jackson as an overbearing king, not a president, elected by the people. This highlighted concerns about his perceived abuse of executive authority. Its enduring significance lies in its ability to encapsulate the fears and sentiments of a populace during a transformative period in American history, sparking discussion about power, governance, and the limits on presidential authority. Ultimately, this cartoon serves as a poignant reminder of the power of visual media in shaping public perception and challenging the actions of those in power. So without a doubt, this political cartoon is a very important part of American history and can help us better understand Andrew Jackson's presidency. On another note, this political cartoon frequently makes its appearance on the big A-push test at the end of the year. So I hope this video helps you better understand this political cartoon and Andrew Jackson. Have a great rest of the day and thanks for watching.